Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Kane Audio vlog. Uh, this week I'm going to be looking at another kick designer. Um, I did look at one, or I mentioned it sort of briefly last month, I think it was, um, the Big Kick by Jim Credland. Uh, this week I'm going to be using Sonic Academy Kick 2. Um, it's a great kick designer. Um, so, you know, what more can I say? I'll just show you it now. So what we've got here is a sort of waveform graph of, of what the kick looks like. Uh, you can control the pitch, the amp, and you've got three clicks which you can load here. It comes with a bunch of clicks preloaded in. Um, there's a limiter. You can control the sub harmonics, uh, so it sort of changes the overall harmonic sound. You've got a built-in compressor, some distortion, and some EQ. Um, this is pretty much default. I think I've changed a couple of bits here. Um, but yeah, as default, if I just solo the kick channel and play that. Oh, there we go, I've actually put in one of my own clicks there. Um, but I just wanted to quickly show you how easy it is to change the, 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 the sound of a kick, basically. Um, so for example, we know that the transient starts up here and we know that the body is essentially this section and then the extension is this part here. Um, so I like my kicks to have quite a sharp body sound to them. So all I need to do is bring this out. And so if I play it and just show you. It's literally that easy. And then you can uh, you can see there's not only the frequency written here, but you've also got the uh, note here as well. Um, so if, for example, you wanted it to be A, you know, you can just bring um, that up and, and that, and then you've got yourself a tuned kick. It's really that easy. And then with the amplitude, you can bring in the initial transient more. And you could maybe shorten the kick. Um, let's use this one. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. You've got the clicks as well. You can change whatever you want on there. You can change the uh, the overall length of the kick as well. Um, you've got some EQ over here, so you can edit the um, the level curves. Do whatever you want there. Uh, you've got a compressor here, so you can add in a bit of compression. Um, the harmonics over here can be quite interesting at times so if I bring that in then you've got the harmonics dial here and obviously if you wanted to go really crazy you could bring them all in which basically makes it almost a, a saw wave there Um, and there we go, I just thought I'd show you guys quickly this week that uh, it's a VST I've been using for a few weeks now. Uh, Sonic Academy got in touch and, and asked me if I wanted to do some uh, preset kicks for it, so keep your eyes open for that, that'll be out at some point soon. Um, and it's a fantastic bit of kit, uh, I've been really impressed with it. I've um, started using it already in some of my tracks, so, um, yeah, so I just thought I'd share that really, as it's a great bit of kit. Um, yeah, I hope you like the video, get involved, comment, subscribe, whatever, and I'll see you next week. Cheers!